Time is ticking and our island leaders have yet to find the money to pay the decade-old streetlight debt to the Guam Power Authority. In a News Talk K57 interview with Guam's public auditor, Doris Flores Brooks, the auditor said the government once had the funds to pay for the streetlights, but the administration used the extra money rendered from registration fees to pay maintenance and payroll of the highway division instead of the streetlight debt. For the increase that we got from the highway uh, registration fees uh, did not go to pay uh, uh, streetlights, but instead went to increase the payroll and operations of the Territorial Highway Maintenance Fund. There doesn't seem to be any consensus emerging from the two branches. CCU Chair Simon Sanchez right says GPA will still move forward with disconnection throughout the island if the debt is not paid by the end of the month, leaving Guam in the dark with the increased power rates and the lingering streetlight debt. We will stay the course uh, unless we change our mind tomorrow at the request of the mayors. Disconnections are going to continue. Uh, even if we agree with the mayors, they would just resume in June uh, unless, unless the government's paid the bill. According to GPA spokesperson Art Perez, as of Friday, 300 streetlights have been taken down as a result of the unpaid debt. If the debt is not paid, 9,000 of 15,000 streetlights will be disconnected or taken down since GPA can't afford to keep giving out free power. Crystal Augustine, Pacific News Center.